Hi kids! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-transform ng equation of the circle from center radius form to general form and vice versa. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood ang lesson bago yung lesson na to, please check on the video description. Ang equation of the circle in center radius form ay ito. Okay? At kapag i-transform natin siya into general form, dapat maging ganito ang form niya. AX square plus AY square plus DX plus EY plus F is equal to 0. May dalawa tayong uh, scale na dapat nabalikan. Ito yung squaring binomial and completing the square. I-recall natin yung dalawang yan. So, squaring of binomial, let's say we have quantity X minus 1 square, magiging X square minus 2X plus 1. So, ang ginawa lang natin ay square yung first term. So, X is X square. And then, negative 1, dinoble natin, or na-times sa 2. So, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Or negative 2x, then square the last term, positive 1. Okay, lagi yung dulo natin ay positive. Yung gitna nating term, nakadepende kung yung constant ng binomial ay positive or negative. Kung siya ay x minus 1, negative yung gitna. Kung siya ay x plus 2, positive yung gitna. So, quantity x plus 2 square is equal to x square plus 4x plus 4. Yung 2, dinoble natin, kaya naging 4x. Yung 2, dito sa dulo, yung 4 ay naging 2 square. Okay, 2 square siya, kaya naging 4. Next, ito namang y minus 3 quantity square is equal to y square minus 6y. Negative 3, dinoble natin, kaya negative 6y. And then, plus 9. And paano kapag may fraction? So, x square plus 1 half, doblihin natin. So, 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 1, kaya x na lang siya. Plus 1 half square is equal to 1 fourth. Okay, so ano naman yung kabaligtaran ng squaring binomial? And that is the completing the square. Let's say we have x square plus 2x plus blank. Ah, hanapin natin kung ano yung uh, number na dapat ilagay dito sa blank para maging perfect square. So, kukunin lang natin ang middle term which is 2x or 2, numerical coefficient tong middle term, 2. I-divide natin sa 2, kaya naging 1. At i-square natin, kaya nakuha natin yung 1. At itong x square plus 2x plus 1 ay perfect square trinomial na, kaya ang kanya factors ay quantity x plus 1 square. Okay? Next, y square minus 4y plus blank. Get the numerical coefficient of the middle term that is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Square natin yung negative 2, kaya tayo ay may 4 dito. Okay? So, equivalent siya sa y minus 2 quantity square. Next, y square plus 8y plus blank. Yung 8, i-divide natin sa 2. So, magiging 4. I-square natin, kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 16 dito. And this is equivalent to quantity y plus 4 square. Next, x square minus x plus blank. So, ito ay negative 1. Divide by 2, kaya negative 1 half, square natin, kaya mayroon tayong 1 fourth. At ito equivalent sa x minus 1 half square. Saan natin nakuha yung 1, 2, 4, at saka yung 1 half? Ito yung uh, numerical coefficient na dinivide natin sa 2. So itong 2 divided by 2 ay 1. Negative 4 divided by 2, kaya nagkaroon ng minus 2. 8 divided by 2, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng y plus 4 rito. At saka itong negative 1 divided by 2 ay negative 1 half, kaya x minus 1 half. Itong dalawang skill na ito ay mahalaga sa pag-change ng uh, from center radius form to general form. At kapag naman babalik ta rin natin from general form to center radius form. Pinagsama ko na ang lesson na ito para madali nyong madistinguish kung ano yung pinagkaiba ng step at kung paano sila nagkaroon ng kaugnayan sa isa't isa. Let's have the first example. Transform quantity x minus 1 square plus y square equals 9 into general form. So, ang una natin gagawin, i-expand ang lahat ng binomial na naka-square. Okay, so, iisa lang naman ang binomial natin na naka-square. So, ito lang ating i-expand. So, quantity x minus 1 square, ang equivalent niya ay x square minus 2x plus 1. Tapos, kopyahin lang natin yung natitira. So, plus y square equals 9. Next, i-arrange natin ang lahat ng terms. So, x square, ang kasunod natin ay y square plus y square minus 2x plus 1. Yung 9 dito, ilipat natin sa left side, kaya magiging minus 9 is equal to 0. And then, we have x square plus y square. Kinokopya ko lang to 
minus 2x, then 1 minus 9 is equal to negative 8 is equal to 0. Ito na agad ang ating sagot. x square plus y square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, paano naman natin ito ibabalik into this form again? Okay, yan naman yung ating general form to center radius form. So, we have x square plus y square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Ang gagawin natin, pagsasamahin natin yung may mga x term at saka yung may mga y term. That is the first step. So, x square, okay, so may kasama siya minus 2x plus blank. Ito yung i-complete natin ng square. Plus, y square, wala naman siyang kasama, is equal to yung negative 8 lipat sa kabila, kaya magiging positive 8. Okay, next, complete natin ang square nito. So, negative 2, divide natin sa 2, is equal to negative 1, square natin, meron tayong 1. At kung ano ang nai-add mo sa left side, ia-add mo rin sa right side. So, meron tayo rito plus 1. Kasi nga may plus 1 tayo rito, plus 1 din dun sa right side. And then, this is already a perfect square trinomial, kaya ang equivalent niya ay x minus 1 quantity square, and then plus y square is equal to 9. Okay? Mapapansin mo, bumalik siya dun sa una niyang form. For the second example, let us transform this equation of the circle into standard form. So, quantity x plus 5 square plus quantity y plus 3 square equals 12. Step 1, i-expand natin yung mga binomial na naka-square. So, dalawang ating binomial dito. So, quantity x plus 5 square is equal to x square plus 10x plus 25 plus ang y plus 3 square naman ay y square plus 6y plus 9 is equal to 12. Okay, pagkatapos i-arrange natin yung mga terms base dun sa binigay na general form. So, x square plus y square, ang kasunod ay 10x, ang sumunod ay plus 6y, tapos i-plus natin yung constant. So, 25 plus 9 is equal to 34, tapos ilipat na natin yung 12, kaya minus 12 na tayo rito is equal to 0. And then, ito na lang yung kulang natin. So, kopyahin ko lang x square plus y square plus 10x plus 6y plus 22 is equal to 0. And this is the general form of the equation of the circle. Okay, so ngayon, balik tarin naman natin. Given the general form, ibalik natin siya dun sa original form niya, which is the center radius form. So we have x square plus y square plus 10x plus 6y plus 22 is equal to 0. Step 1, kailangan nating pagsamasamahin yung may mga x term at saka yung y terms. So, meron tayong x square plus 10x plus blank. Iko-complete natin ang square nito. Plus y square plus 6y plus blank is equal to, ilipat natin yung constant sa right side. So, plus 22 ito magiging negative 22. Okay? Then, complete the square. Ito ay 10 ang middle term. Kung numerical coefficient niya ay 10. So, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. I-square natin siya, kaya 25. So, 25 ito. Then, ito naman ay 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. I-square natin is equal to 9. Ito naman ay 9. Tapos, kung ano na-add mo sa left side, i-add mo rin sa right side. So, nag-add tayo ng 25 at saka 9, which is equivalent to 34. So, i-add din natin siya dito sa right side, which is equal to 34. And then, this is already a perfect square trinomial. Ang equivalent niya ay x plus 5 quantity square plus quantity. Ito naman ay y plus 3 square is equal to negative 22 plus 34 is equal to 12. Okay? And this is the center radius form. Bumalik tayo dun sa unang given. Let's have the last example. Transform this equation of the circle into general form. So, quantity x minus 1 half square plus quantity y minus 1 square is equal to 1. Okay, so step 1, i-expand natin yung dalawang binomials. So, quantity x minus 1 half square is equal to x square minus x plus 1 fourth plus ito namang y minus 1 square ay y square minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay, next, 
ay i-arrange natin yung mga terms. So, x square plus y square minus x minus 2y plus 1 fourth plus 1 minus 1. Nilipat ko ito is equal to 0. Okay, so bakit hindi ko muna pinagsama ito? Pwede nyo pagsamahin itong 1 fourth plus 1 na kaso meron tayong 1 minus 1 dito kaya makakancel na agad ito. So, x square plus y square minus x minus 2y plus 1 fourth is equal to 0. So, 1 minus 1 is already 0. At dahil may denominator tayo rito na 4, i-multiply natin siya sa 4. Okay? So, minsan nagkakaroon tayo ng dalawang denominator, i-multiply nyo siya kung ano yung LCD ng denominator. So, dito isa lang, kaya i-multiply natin sa 4 ang lahat ng terms. So, 4 times x square, 4x square, 4 times y square, so plus 4y square, 4 times negative x, minus 4x, 4 times negative 2y, minus 8y, 4 times 1 fourth, cancel na yung 4, kaya magiging plus 1 na lang is equal to 0, and this is the general form of the equation of the circle. Next, i-transform naman natin ito at ibalik into center radius form. So, 4x square, okay, plus 4y square, minus 4x, minus 8y, plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? So, pagsamasamahin muna natin yung mga may x term at saka y term. Ang una muna, dahil meron tayong 4 at 4 dito, ang una natin gagawin, i-divide muna ang lahat ng term sa 4. Parang dito, minultiply natin, binaligtad lang natin yung process. So, divide natin lahat ng term sa 4. Kaya magiging x square plus y square minus x minus 2y plus 1 fourth is equal to 0. Bumalik tayo rito. Okay? Next, at saka natin pagsamasamahin yung may x term at saka yung may y term. So, x square minus x plus blank. Magkocomplete ng square tayo rito. Plus y square minus 2y plus blank is equal to negative 1 fourth. Okay, next, complete natin yung square nito. So, negative 1 divided by 2, square natin, ang sagot ay 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth ito. Next, ito naman, negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 1, square natin, ang sagot ay 1. Tapos, ipa-plus natin itong 1 fourth at 1 dito sa right side. Huwag na natin i-plus ito dahil makakancel yung 1 fourth dito. So, plus 1 fourth plus 1. So, cancel ito. So, itong x, x square minus x plus 1 port ay equivalent sa x minus 1 half square plus quantity. Ito namang y, ito namang y square minus 2y plus 1 ay equal sa y minus 1 square is equal to nakancel yung 1 port kaya 1 na lang ang natira. And this is the answer. Bumalik tayo dito sa unang given.